morning. Good morning. This is Rich Runner Don't Live. I assume that I'm up and live. Again, uh, working with subdued lighting for the for the time being. Uh, I'm I'm today. I'm going to talk about some things that you can do to uh, save gasoline money. You know, gas prices are all over the place nationwide, up and down, and you know, in some places higher than others. But uh, there's there's this concern. Of course, it's going to go back up at some point. Obviously, there's a few issues. Uh, one of the things that some of this you've heard before, some of this you may already be doing, but I want to suggest it anyway. Some of the things that uh, you can do, of course, is to carpool, ride to work with others. Uh, a second thing you can do instead of going to the grocery store or the convenience store two or three times a week, consolidate those trips into once a week. You know, make a, a really good, thorough, exhaustive list. And depending on what your budget is, you might even stock up, uh, you know, to be ready for whatever winter we're about to have and for whatever inflation may lie ahead. It's always a good idea to, to have some canned goods on hand and some other things on hand, you know, whether it's spaghetti or whether it's rice or whatever it is. Have some things on hand that you will, uh, in case, you know, inflation increases, in case there's ever a supply chain problem in case there's ever a shortage of anything, uh, you know, you can, can be prepared somewhat ahead of these things. Again, you know, saving gasoline, another thing in, in your city, if there's a bus system, you can use that occasionally. Uh, on good weather days, uh, if you're walking distance or bicycling distance from work, uh, that also is an option. Most Americans don't like to do that. It's just so easy to hop in the car and go anywhere, anytime. But that's the problem. That's why the gas consumption is 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 <laughs> the level that it is, and and that's why we we. And let let me give you this idea right quick. If if millions of people decided to just park their car for one day, okay, on the gas prices nationwide, they'd drop a few cents. Because it's supply and demand. Everything is supply and demand. And, and as long as Americans are continuing to go wherever they want, whenever they want, regardless of what the gas prices is, well, the big fuel companies, uh, the big oil producers, they know they can get away with this. They know that they can get away with whatever the market will bear. And until you make that decision to consume less gasoline, to, to make less trips, to make fewer trips, uh, you know, less often, and to park the vehicle, gas prices are never going to come down. You know, that's the reality of the matter. So if you're interested in, in, in bringing gasoline prices down, millions of people uh, need to park their vehicle for a day or two. That would that would instantly have an effect. Now, we know that's not going to happen because Americans don't cooperate well together. And and so it would be almost impossible to have a, a, a national... Uh, no fuel day, a national park your car day, but it would have a, you know, a tremendous impact uh, right off the bat. So those are my suggestions to people on, on how to save on fuel. And again, my recommendation that you stock up, and, you know, have, have some food on hand, uh, make sure, you know, the necessities are covered in case God forbid there's a bad weather situation, whether it's a blizzard or a flood or an earthquake or whatever. If you've got supplies on hand, you're that much better off. Uh, if, if there's a supply chain, chain shortage and you've got uh, uh, stuff on hand, you're that much better off than, than going to empty shelves. You know, if you go to Dollar Store or Walmart or wherever you do your shopping and, and the stuff just isn't there, well, you've got it because you bought ahead. You thought ahead. So, you know, I'm recommending that everybody be stocked up again, for whatever kind of winter and for whatever economic situation lies ahead. Park that vehicle as often as you can. Walk or ride a bike when you can. Use a city bus when you can. Carpool when you can. And don't make unnecessary trips. Make only those trips which are necessary. All of these things will have a, a tremendous impact uh, on your pocketbook and on the fuel situation nationwide. And this has been Rich Bernardo Live.